could you give a teenager? A very strong abortion pill and abandon her all along the road. Why? That's because I couldn't stand the excruciating pain that is bound to follow. Knowing fully well that I'm behind it. I am her mother. Her own mother. What are you talking about? I thought we've gone deep into this already for this emotional bullshit talk. You said you left the room immediately, you gave her the pill. So who's going to take care of her? Once she starts bleeding, so that she doesn't panic and mess things up. That's the part I cannot stand. That's bleeding. She's my daughter. My only child. The blood in question is a human being we both conspired to murder. Don't you feel somehow about this whole thing? Sweetheart, let's be realistic here. Your only daughter is having an abortion you and I planned and executed without telling her. You are supposed to be with her. Even if not to take care of her, but to sustain the lies we told her about everything. You are a nurse. It's a woman thing. Behind so you two are behind this pain and bleeding I have been having. Oh God. So this is abortion. So you both conspired to commit such sinful crime. And you like me to be part of it. You both have done your worst. You both have done your worst, mommy and dad. The last time, you murdered my soul. But this time, you simply buried me alive. God, if you don't kill these people right now, then I'll believe that you do not exist. Kill them! Kill them for me! Kill them! Leave me alone! Kill them for me! Kill them! Brenda, for how long will you continue to be like this? How long will you continue to cry? I understand how you feel. I'm a mother. Every pain you feel, I also feel it. I'm sorry about the abortion pills I give to you. I just couldn't watch you give birth to, to a child that will bring disgrace to you. If you want to have a child for your father, that's an abomination. It's a taboo. You won't even love the child. Because the child will always remind you of the evil thing your father did to you. You really have to stop crying. Stop harming yourself. Let the past go. You have a bright future ahead of you. We are sorry. Your father and I, we are sorry. We, it will never repeat itself again. 
who will protect you from evil ahead of you henceforth. We are deeply sorry. You're the only child of God and I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Please stop crying. Please. I'm so sorry. Whatever I did, I did for your own good. I'm sorry. Please. Baby, it's okay. Shall we hurt you, okay? Let's just give her time to, to deal. Let's go. Getting better. Thank you for suggesting that she be put into coma. Because the violent behavior she displayed when she regained consciousness, only God knows what her case would have been by now without that. 
that calls for deep thinking in our own part. We have to find a solution before the coma drug runs its course on our body. Solution? What kind of solution? We did what we did. She knows what she knows. What can we possibly do now? Wipe her brain out? But tell her some kind of story that will make her think less bad of what happened. Like what? I'm thinking. You think too. I don't want to see the both of you near me. Brenda, we are here because we have a confession to make to you. I am not interested. Like your mom said, we have a confession to make. And you have to listen, for your own good at least. I am not your biological father. Uh, your, your mother was already pregnant for her ex few months before our wedding. I only got to know a few weeks later. But I didn't leave her because I love her. Mom, that is lying, right? He's just saying it is to make me feel less bad about being raped and impregnated by him, right? Your dad is right. We ought to have told you this before now, but... Stop, mom! Stop! Who is my father? Brenda. Your father is late. He died in a plane crash in Canada years ago. I'm sorry you're just getting to know about this now. We are so sorry.
end of your life on wickedness, Dad. Join her! Brenda, what do you think you're doing? What happened? She now knows the truth. Including the lies you told her about her paternity. And who told her? Who, who told her? That's not necessary. Brenda. I know you are angry at us. I know I hurt you so much. What I'm going to say might be very difficult for you to believe, but that's the truth. Everything I did to you, I did them to you because I was threatened by your father. He said if I didn't cooperate with him that he would kill you. And I didn't want to lose you because you're the only child I've got. I'm sorry for all the evil things I did to you. I'm so sorry. I'm not saying this to patronize you. You can go ahead and kill me if you want to. But do not forget to kill your father. So you can live and thrive because as long as he's alive, you would never leave. Nora. Your father is the devil himself. Your father is very heartless. And he doesn't deserve to leave. Nora. My daughter. Please, go ahead and make use of the gun. I don't mind you killing me, but you must kill him. Can't be serious! What did you just say? Asking her to kill me? Your husband? Are you out of your senses? Are you out of your... Oh! Oh! Jesus! What have you done? Just clear my conscience. I've been wanting to do this since the day I realized he raped you. Now my conscience is free. Hello, Commissioner. My name is Honorable Nora DK. I just killed my husband. Please come to the house and arrest me. Okay. You're free now. Watch your back. 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 Watch your
Butterfly in the wind. 